Yeah, that's all I needed. Well, with the armory. I forgot about the armory. Well, even if I didn't have the armories, I still would have won because I would have beat you by a oh, point. Oh, you would have given me through. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. The, so, like, getting estates there instead of the other stuff would have prevented that play, but I had the armories, so that wouldn't have worked. Yeah. Oh, I could have balled for curses, but then I could. I, that wouldn't have been enough points, yeah. I, I could have gotten more points with the provinces. And armory for curses and trashing the curses is like a nice little trick that I wanted to do. Uh, by the way, hi, Deadlock. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, uh, what's How going does, on? Uh... Hmm? Oh, sorry, what? How does? Uh, how do you think about dominate versus colony? Uh, it's real good. I mean, do you just buy whichever one you have the money for? Or? I, I guess. Uh, I mean, oh. in, if you're playing big money and you can somehow hit 14, then yeah, sure. Well, if there's platinum, I you just, usually can. Yeah. I just realized yes. that Dominate costs three more dollars than Colony and mm -hmm. gives you five more points, which follows the... the the way that the green cards scale. Huh. Yeah. Very interesting. It's pretty delish. Uh, what's going on here? Attacks, nothing. Trashing, sacrifice, or snackrifice, as uh, some would say, and mine. Okie doke, village is present. Draw is only golem and counting house. Oh, the yeah. golem counting house combo. We what did it, guys. Like? This is the board for it. Oh, wait, how does that work? Does Golem set them all aside and then discard them after you find the actions? Yeah. It works. Okay, so so then if you, if you ran through your whole deck to find the counting houses, most of your copper should end up in your discard pile, and then you should... If you if the only non-Golem yeah. action in your deck is counting house, it's guaranteed that you'll draw all your count coppers with the counting house. So you just load up your deck with golems and counting or and coppers and like one counting house and then you just play a golem every turn and you draw all your coppers and then you win the game you dominate every turn it's super great <laughs> because you put seven extra coppers in your deck uh yeah and uh you'll need to somehow hit four potion there as well so that's tough <laughs> uh it sounds totally viable yeah uh R root fuchs says Artificer is going to fit in there. How does Artificer fit in there? How does Artificer... Oh, you could... I guess you could... Oh, yeah, after that... Yeah, you have one Artificer in your deck, but then you're not guaranteed to be at the bottom of a shuffle. Uh, I don't think that's... I don't think that's going to work. You, you have to push out all interaction from the rest of the kingdom for that to be any good, which is how you know that it's a real combo, like the true... Hashtag true combo deck. <laughs> What's this artificer thought? Then you just discard all those coppers to gain cards? I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, is this just... Is this just, like... Sacrifice big money? Big money? Sacrifice trashing, and then maybe, like... Do you put mine in there? Those I mean, mine good, is but... definitely great. It's it's for sure great. Like, you but, definitely uh, get let's overlord. Be let's be careful. Let's not go with great. Let's go with passable on this kingdom. <laughs> Wow, two five here sucks so bad. Wait, really? Yeah. I guess the mine because of worth Overlord. Sacrifice. Like oh. I think Overlord's probably worth opening with, so you can get a mine, right? If you could open oh, okay. Sacrifice Overlord, that would be a maze balls. Oh, I opened Silver. Good point. Should I get the Sacrifice now, or should I get the Overlord? Thing? Actually, I think Sacrifice is probably better to open with. Mine, I don't think, has enough of an effect to justify the debt. And also, I don't know. Mine's a card you still want a lot, though. Yeah, yeah. it's it's probably worth... Yeah, I think you should just buy the Mine outright. So I guess I'm just going to open Mine nothing and be really sad that I couldn't get an Overlord with it. Actually, no. Getting an Overlord with it isn't all that fantastic. A Wait, Scouting but, Party, I... though, would have been pretty sweet. That would have been nice. But do I want to open Silver Overlord or Silver Sacrifice? And I think I, I would. I think I would get the Sacrifice. Really? I, I'm again, not I, sure. So it's like opening Overlord. That's tough. Things, like, I don't understand how to do. Like, like I just like don't know how to weigh those costs. Oh, you're usually looking for something that trashes or something that attacks. It's not something that makes you money that makes worth opening Overlord worth it. 
Okay, so, I mean, here, do you buy the Overlord then? Or do you just keep going Silvers? I guess I'd probably buy the Overlord. I mean, I if you get an Overlord, you're getting it next turn. So, don't get it now. Oh, okay. Wait, why? Oh, because there's just no point in assuming a bunch of debt without... Yeah, buying debt cards at the bottom of your shuffle is a lot better than buying them at other points. Because you can pay it off with the new cards that are now in your deck. Okay, mm -hmm. that makes sense. I guess I can just buy a mine and not have to worry about it. Right, and I think that's good. Oh, in other news... Because what else do you play <laughs> as? What? Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, God. It felt... Oh, it was so amazing. I don't oh, my God. Mean. So, I opened mine. And mine was the bottom card of my deck. Oh, nice. It's more fun when you're in the uh, the World Championship matches and uh, you then get that card swindled. And then you open nothing. In fact, you open Dutchie. Well, in the absence of Swindler, the other card that you put in your deck on turn four collides with your mind and you can't play it. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Um, is Potion worth it here? Is Golem something I should think about or I, is that just absurd and I should ignore it? What do you think? It's absurd and I should ignore it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty bad. Okay. I guess I just buy... Is this just a buy silver game? Silver's a good card. I like. Yeah. I'm seriously playing Sacrifice, Mine, Big Money with Dominate. I, yeah, I really don't see much too. you could add you to it. Dominate slash Colony, whichever one you hit. <laughs> I guess, this is, I guess. A, this is a board where building makes more sense, right? Because you can actually build a lot bigger. Mm-hmm. Is this gold or is this mine? A second mine? That I feels like gold. three terminals is too many. Right. Wow. I'm, like, trying to think of how my draws could possibly be worse, and it's just not coming to me. Like, top of shuffle, do you buy a silver or do you buy a scouting party? Uh... uh yes. I feel like about the scouting party. Oh, nice. We're on to pitch three copper is cool. Thank you. I don't trust my deck. Okay, <laughs> do you, I'm, I mine the gold to a platinum, right? Not a silver to a gold, or? What do you think? I mean, I have to, right? This adds the most money density to the deck. Yeah. That's like half. Of, that's like the only reason mine is decent good, yeah. here, is because you can do that. But I mean, that is the general, right? You want to. You'd rather have a couple big treasures than a bunch of silvers, right? That's generally how. It normally doesn't matter, but since platinum is two dollars more than gold, that's a difference. Oh, I mean, it doesn't matter this hand, but like thinking ahead. It, it matters this hand. You get you get another dollar this hand. Yeah, no, no, but I mean, like from a general standpoint. Like, do you, do you take, if you have the chance between silver to gold or copper to silver, which one do you take? Normally, it doesn't matter. Normally, there, but, like, there can be factors on the board that push you in either direction. Okay. How much do I chop coppers with sacrifice? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's a colony game. True. Let alone dominate, but even just colonies makes that worth it. All right, do I go I against like my I'm... own advice and get a golem? That's terrible. I feel like I'm killing you, though. Uh-huh, you are. You are... I'll just, I'll just open, or is it destroying all the shuffle me. past the open? I have gotten some really bad luck since the opening. Is this colony? I'm doing it. I was gonna say, well, if it's, I was gonna ask, I hit, if I hit fifteen, I buy the dominate, right? But now I feel like I definitely do. Why would you get colony over dominate? No, no, no. Just like, is it green time? But I guess I think, games, yeah, it's green time. <laughs> it's always green time. Hashtag, it's always green time. <sighs> Holy crap! It's only turn twelve. It always amazes me how, like, 
when they we right when you you know they teach you big money can hit what like four provinces by turn 14 or so and that always feels like really fast until you realize like how fast other stuff is so big money with no enablers hits four provinces by turn 17 on average is it really 17 i thought it was faster than that well normally you have some enabler like smithy will get you there on turn 13 all right do i sacrifice a copper or mine it into a silver yes do you have any better things to mine Nope, double copper, platinum, mine sacrifice. <laughs> uh, you could consider sacking the mine. Do you have any estates left? No. No, I got all this. Sacking the uh, mine? Yeah, sacking the mine seems okay. See where it gets me? Really? It seems okay. I don't know if it's right, but you know. Seems nah, fine. I would I would probably sack the copper before I mined it. Really? Just because... Yeah. I feel like... But I feel like if we... Like, you have, like... Money density, you have true. infinity platinums. That's true. Okay, fair enough. I have a lot of platinums. I was thinking you would probably draw a platinum and still continue, like, <laughs> scoring okay. a million points okay. the rest of the, the game. Next five so cards like... are triple platinum gold. Yeah, you should have sacked that mine. You should have sacked that mine. You're right. I usually am. I don't know. Should have scouting partied again. Gross. Oh my god. My deck is so bad. Here I am buying colonies while you're buying dominates. <laughs> Feels so bad. Was there any pushback with the name dominate? Why would there be? I mean, it. we could see it being, I don't know, questionable. I feel like witch and harem are far more questionable. A harem is, I don't think, I mean, witch felt fine at the time. It's but 2017, man. I'm yeah, so I dead. <laughs> well, oh, you say that. God. Okay. Do I buy a platinum? Uh, or a no, you don't. You don't buy either one of those things because the game's over. Oh wow. Okay. <sighs> Attacks. Nothing. Trashing is. Nothing. Is ritual ever relevant? Yeah. Ritual's like a 0. 